Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Massa tutorial. Today we're going to talk about using multiple LFOs with Stepper. Um, so basically I already went ahead and built the sound. Um, if you're really interested in the sound for some reason, um, just let me know. I can um, probably get a link for the uh, preset. Um, let's go ahead and hear that real quick so we know what we're starting with. So it's just a normal wobble LFO bass. Um, and basically what we're going to do is um, change the LFO speed using multiple LFOs um, and what's going to control that is actually the stepper. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Let's get started. Um, right now obviously LFO 5 as you can see here is at a 1 8 ratio controlling um, the cutoff on both of these. Um, now let's go into LFO 6. I go ahead and hit sync and let's set that to 1 12th for right now. Go ahead and click on that and drop it into both of these filters right beside 5. Turn this up a little higher than uh, LFO 5 and do the same thing here. Okay, now let's go on over to um, right here. There's already a stepper set up here. Um, basically, go ahead and uh, hit sync on this. We're going to put that to 1 8 um, First of all, let's start by dragging this up here. Leave these two down and then do that here. Basically, the idea behind this is um, once we get this all working, when these, as this goes across, when this is up, uh, you're going to get one of the LFO speeds, and then when this drops down, it's going to use the other LFO, which is at a different rate. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. Um, take this stepper and drag it right here in both of the filters. And then right below, um, you should be able to see here there's um, an SC here, which is, stands for sidechain. Um, go ahead and click on that and click it on here also. Now let's go into LFO 5. Let's turn that amp all the way down and drag the stepper here and drag that all the way up. Now go into LFO 6, do the exact opposite, so leave it up, drag this in and drag it down. Now uh, let's check out um, the change that that's going to have on this and it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so as you can tell, um, as this went across here, um, it changed the speed between the 1 8th and the 1 12th. And of course, that opens up a lot of possibilities. Um, you can change those all around, do anything you want. Um, another th cool thing that I'm going to show you is you can actually use Stepper here to change the pitch also. So let's um, just put this in each one of these and pull it up however much you want. I'm going to do mine at 3 here. And I'm using the phase here, so I'm going to also drag that into there. Let's hear that real quick. And that's very useful, and I'm going to do more tutorials on Stepper and all the things it can do. But um, as you can tell, you just if you have one note that's playing, it will actually change the pitch for you, and you don't actually have to put that in the piano roll. So hopefully you found this to be helpful. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.